It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs on Thursday night primetime. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City with Charles Davis. As always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Justin Tucker all set, and we are set to see the cream of the crop in the AFC as we are underway here with the Ravens and the Chiefs. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league, it's Patrick Mahomes. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. And Mahomes going to put it up right away. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. We have to see what kind of looks this defense is going to throw at him as this game moves along, but they're in a zone to start. I do think we'll see plenty of man coverage as we move along, but the first throw of this one, incomplete. Now a second and ten. They go play action. Now Mahomes. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. A big play there for KC, 43 yards. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 34. Now here's Mahomes, able to find Gray here. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Play action, now it's Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. Third and seven now. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs' field goal. Butker's kick here is good, and the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. I think we can safely say they came out to be aggressive on the opening series, Charles. They didn't run the ball once. All that passing, it does get them the three to nothing lead. I think what we saw there, partner, was a true definition of football balance, which means doing what you want to, when you want to on offense. And in this case, it was throwing the football. They may mix in running the football a little bit more as this game goes on. But this opening drive, while it stalled out, it still gave them three points. 
After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here's the first drive for the Ravens, and at the helm is the 2023 NFL Most Valuable Player. Second such time he's won the award, Lamar Jackson. And he's coming off the season where he showed everyone that he's worth every single penny he was given. He now has two MVP trophies on his resume and was on the verge of adding a Lamar Hunt trophy to go with it. Unfortunately, things didn't work out in his favor, but make no mistake about it. He's truly one of the most electrifying players in the NFL. As long as he's the man under center, they'll always be in championship conversation. Here's Jackson to throw. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't, because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers will get involved as this game goes on. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and wing in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second down and six. A pivot and a give to Henry. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Third and nine here. Play action. Now Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. He's going to have the first down and then some. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And what a letdown after a huge play. He's going to pull this in and then set sail for the end zone. And he nearly made it, too. But he's going to be tracked down just short of the goal line. So a big play there that's going to set him up with first and goal at the one-yard line. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. And now some motion before the snap. Man, this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. And they'll try again here first and goal after the false start. Now they'll bring one of their tight ends in motion right. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. Got a man. It's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Isaiah Likely, a five-yard touchdown. And the Ravens are able to answer the early three points and take a first-quarter lead. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> but I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that's the right? high That's mark. the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. Justin Tucker for the extra point. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. That time, a six-play drive. And finishing that drive off was the touchdown grab by Isaiah Likely.
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Mahomes going to throw. Well, this one complete. It's Rasheed Rice. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. Deontay Hardy back deep. A strong running. <laughs> it's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. They go play action now. Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. Yeah, 
In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. To throw, it's Mahomes. Over the middle, complete. That's Brown. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Mahomes now to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end. And he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Rice. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. Seven yards there and a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Quick slant to Brown. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Hollywood with the first down grab. And that's something they like to see in the offense. But what they really want to see is explosion. Ever since he's entered the league, he's been a long ball receiver. And the Chiefs hope that trend continues as they try to win their third straight Lombardi Trophy come February. Quarterback Patrick Mahomes says, go long, Hollywood. I'll find you. Got a man. It's Brown. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Here now, second and four. Here's Pacheco headed right. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, not a there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Now Mahomes. That is caught. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. They'll look to throw here. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on a touchdown pass. And the Chiefs have retaken the lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. A 10-play drive that time, and it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. A short one there, caught by Likely. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Jackson from the shotgun. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. And it's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 49-yard line. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. A first down carry for Henry. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. In motion right is Aguilar. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. And he's just going to run right into that big old defensive end, and that play going nowhere. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays. You know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic. So I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline out of bounds where no one's going to have a chance at it. Out now is a punter, Jordan Stout. Right, he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. And now here comes Kansas City. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger, a really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's <laughs> the simple, guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. In motion, the tight end. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. Here's Mahomes to throw. 
Got his man complete over the middle. That's Rice. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it'll leave them with third and a full yard to go. Ten seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. Second quarter for Merrillhead. It's the Chiefs in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. They go play fake. Mahomes trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. The Ravens offense now. They get set to head back on the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. After the interception, here's Jackson. A throw out wide, going to be incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Second and ten. Jackson. Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. To throw is Jackson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up with a first and 10. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the gun, Jackson. Touchdown! Zay Flowers, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have moved out in front. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play and they got it done there.
Tucker now for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. A drive there of just four plays. And it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. What well, a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses. And this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. Third down and 10. Now here's Mahomes. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. Matt Arisen now on to punt this one away. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Ravens will get it. First and 10 from deep in their own territory. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. Throwing is Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. He finds Bateman over the middle. And shutting him off, now open field. He's still on his feet. Rashad Bateman. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Rashad Bateman. 81 yards. 
yards. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they design every play to score. I don't know how true that is, but he had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. I think that when he was telling you that, he was designing run after catch in every play. I mean, that's the only way to put it in there, and that's what we got on that one. Nice catch, an even better run for big yardage. Now Tucker to add the PAT. It's good, and it's 21-10. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And bulldozing his way through. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Chiefs offense and Patrick Mahomes headed back onto the field. And he's done everything you could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. He's going to find his tight end gray complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, He's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Out right and brought in by Moore. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Second down and six now. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. Evades the tackler and now some space. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Seven yards there and a first down. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Mahomes going to throw. That pass complete to Moore. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and five. Throwing now is Mahomes. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it. And the Ravens are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. And that now, two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit and instead created a second one. 
A former Minnesota Golden Go for Rashad Bateman leading this offense back onto the field. He's up over 100 yards, has the touchdown. He's, <laughs> he's a big-time receiver in this league, so the question becomes, how do you limit him going forward? Well, you know the guys trying to cover him? They haven't had a whole lot of success thus far, and, and while they will still accept the challenge, maybe you have to change your focus. You have to get after the quarterback a little bit, disrupt his timing, because right now it feels like pitch and catch. Make sure he's not able to have clear sight lines to him, and maybe that'll slow him down. And this is not the guy you want to let play pitch and catch. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. In motion right is Aguilar. Now Jackson taps this forward. Jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Here's Jackson. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. Again, Jackson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Traditionally, as a defense, your number one job, stop the run. But in today's football, it's impacted the opposing quarterback. Make him uncomfortable. And so far, they've not been able to do that. Not at all. He's been really comfortable in the pocket. Three touchdown passes already. So that could be an important first sack if they do want to turn things around. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And the lead grows to 14 at 24 to 10. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Chiefs offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's had things all his way in this first half. The number's sensational as he'll look to add to him with another drive here. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks, and while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind <laughs> or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Oh, 
In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. To throw, it's Mahomes. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there and now fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And they will take over first and 10. The Ravens offense and their wide receiver getting set for this next possession. And seemingly every time they've looked his way in this first half, it has resulted in a big play as borne out by the numbers. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try and increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. In motion right is Aguilar. Now Jackson taps his forward jet sweep. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. Three yards is the pickup, but it leaves him still needing 11 here on third down. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Tough spot here, third down and 11. Now it's Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Jackson will throw again. A short throw caught by Andrews. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. From the 38 now, here's second and six. Jackson, options out left. Now he's loose again. Inside the 10, and he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. It's a scintillating run by Lamar Jackson, and the Ravens have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Well, we've certainly seen this before, CD. No one can quite electrify a crowd like Lamar Jackson and really don't know what else to say other than that was special right there. I think you pretty much said it all, but I go back to what you said about electrifying a crowd. He's also electrifying us, and we're calling the game. This guy is simply sensational. Tucker now to add the point after. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson.
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Oh, a good return up past the 30. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Mahomes now to throw. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Now Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith, and the Ravens are going to get it back here just past the 35. A nightmare of a first half for him. That's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree, because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect him to go in the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. The Baltimore Raven offense returns, and we see wide receiver Rashad Bateman bringing him out, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. Is getting big yardage with each and every one of them. Here's Jackson to throw. It's caught by Aguilar. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Jackson now. Completes it to Aguilar. And he will reach the eight yard line before going out. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. They go play action now. Jackson. There's Flowers. He's got it. Touchdown, Ravens. A great effort there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens are able to widen their lead here in this first half. So the numbers are starting to pile up here early on. We have yet to reach halftime, yet that is already now four touchdown passes. Tucker now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 
scoring summary. Three-play drive, and it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very nearly their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. Trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball, but he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. Yes, yeah, several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown, and frankly, that should have been another pick right there. And that falls to the ground incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. This time they stay on the ground. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Here's Matt Ariza now. Here's Hardy set to return. It's a 40-yard punt, four yards on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with a huge lead already, they may be thinking, hey, our job's complete for these first two quarters. Let's get this to the locker room. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The first half belonged to the reigning NFL most valuable player, number eight, Lamar Jackson. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Ravens ready to receive it, and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. And he returns this to the 22. The Ravens offense and Lamar Jackson set to take over once again. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out.
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they get the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Inside handoff, Henry. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Jackson. And he'll go right back to Andrews. Only able to gain a couple there, and that'll make it second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second down and eight. Henry out of the pistol. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? <laughs> you talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in... He's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Off the option, here's Henry. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and nine. In motion, Aguilar. Henry again on second down. And he is going to lose yardage here. It goes as a loss of six. And now third down. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion right here. Throwing is Jackson. That's caught. It's Flowers. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 
Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Henry. Powering his way into the end zone. It's a touchdown. Well, I think Josh Norman can sympathize. He knows a little something about a run like this from Derrick Henry. I mean, that stiff arm might be the best in the business. Oh, there's no doubt about it. And we'll see that Josh Norman play forever and ever, won't we? Because at Derrick Henry's size, 6'3", nearly 250, you know he's not shying away from contact. And here he just kept the defender at arm's length as he barreled his way into the end zone. I mean, just put that arm into the chest, and there he goes. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So that one a long 11-play drive. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And it's been a rough night at the office for him. He's been more of a liability than an asset throughout the contest. And this offense is having a hard time overcoming his struggles to this point. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. Dances by him and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 40 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. And that's allowed them to move the ball on offense, but I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides, but to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Throw over the middle, caught by the tight end, Gray. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. Now here's Mahomes. And that one caught by Rice. So the completion good for six yards at its second down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. 
but you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Mahomes going to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 14. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Over the middle complete. That's great. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the nine, second and five. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chiefs are able to at least get one score back. So he's hit Pater twice, but still they're facing that deficit here in the second half. So they're going to see if they can continue to find ways to get him the football because obviously something is working for him to find the end zone twice. In any event, however this turns out, he's going to be hard to deal with in the film room, isn't he? He's going to want to know why he's not getting more passes thrown to him. Those big tight ends are getting greedy. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. So that drive consumes nine plays all told, and it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Ravens offense getting set and ready for this next drive. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Still comfortably on top third quarter as they start things here with a first and ten. Call it a gain of a yard and it's second down. Well it's time for them to be good teammates right here and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 31 here's second and nine. Here's Jackson. Able to locate Andrews here on the out route. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up third and one. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big play on the ground there. It goes for 36 yards. Only needed one yard. He said, I'll get you more than that. <laughs> yeah, yard, piece of cake, right? And if you're a defender, seeing the back of the jersey and being able to read his name, not a good thing. That means you're in chase mode. That didn't go well for them on that snap. 
The tight end in motion right. Jackson firing quickly out wide for Bateman. And out of bounds right around the 20. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. In motion, Aguilar. Now Jackson taps his forward jet sweep. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. They go play action with Jackson. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So tack on three more, though this, it's just a rare drive where they did not find the end zone. Yeah, you're right about that, partner, but at this point, I don't think you're too concerned about that. You just want to possess the football for a while and drain the clock. If you can get three out of it, that's great, too. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. KC's offense ready to take over. Well, this has been a tough one for him, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> All coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball, and it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Mahomes now to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Rice. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, a lot of ground left to make up, obviously. A lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. Now, they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. Second down and a little more than a yard here. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. From midfield, here's Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Mahomes to throw once more. Short throw to Smith. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Got a man. It's Brown. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 31-yard line. 
One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Here's Mahomes to throw. Open man right side is Rice. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 more yards there and another first down. Now, with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. Now Mahomes over the middle here to Brown. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Now it's Mahomes again. His pass caught at the four. That'll bring out second and goal after the gain of five. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Rasheed Rice from three yards out. And the Chiefs get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead is down to 24. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pater. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Ravens offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. Second down, they go again with Henry. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 52 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve 
to roll up their sleeves and show off their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they're powering through, and they're controlling this game. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs, that tells you they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest, and they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. On the counter, it's Henry. Down to about the 45. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Again, it's Henry. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it can be a little bit of a changer for them? Maybe not a game changer, but a little bit of a momentum one that maybe they can string together some pretty good plays and slow them down. On third down, Henry. Powerful running, and he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. Nine yards on the carry there, but it'll be fourth down now. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. They'll try and run the option. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. He needed two, but he doesn't come anywhere close. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. So we were looking at each other up here in the booth when they went for that, saying, oh, wow, talk about trying to add insult to injury. Some teams are just like that. You know, some philosophies, some coaches are like, look, when I got a chance to put some more points on the board, I don't care what the situation, I'm going to do it. And they're also the same coaches as a general rule that if someone does it to them, you won't hear a people protest out of them. That's just who they are. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 38. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive over the middle and complete to Moore. They are able to break one tackle but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It'll go down as a gain of six and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. The offense on third down tonight, they're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and four. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That is caught, and he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. 
From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Rice. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Second and three with the ball sitting on the five. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Defense simply not fooled by the draw there. Well, they were thinking run to begin with, and what they tell their defensive linemen is, play the run on your way to the quarterback. If someone shows, go get him, and that's exactly what they did. Now here's Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. That is caught by Rice for a Chiefs touchdown. A great play there with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Chiefs are able to cut into that deficit. He's got them out now to a three score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one CD and well he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way and he secured it for six points. Yeah and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Mahomes will throw for it. And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Well, this offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes the right read seemingly every time. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. What was once a really comfortable lead is not so comfortable anymore. Down to a two-score game after they've seen a pair of touchdowns go against them on those last two drives. Yeah, they've got to find a way to get off of autopilot right now, okay? Get back to what was working for them earlier. Understand that they still have a two-score lead, so it's not dire, but at the same time, okay, guys, let's mash the gas. Let's get going again. Let's have some fun. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring up second down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive 
as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. So now out comes this offense, led by their quarterback as they take over once more. And you get a look at the numbers, and they don't even tell the whole story. This has been a tremendous performance to this point. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he comes back with one complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. Mahomes going to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Now Mahomes got to have this one. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. That one caught by Rice. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Throwing now is Mahomes. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Back to throw again. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Mahomes now to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. With the score where it is, this was probably going to be four down territory if they didn't convert there. 
But what a nice job of working his way open, making sure he secured the catch, and setting up first and goal. Here's first and goal. Mahomes. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Mahomes. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. It doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> So the touchdown was big, this almost equally big, as he'll try to get it to a one-score game with a two-point conversion. Mahomes being chased out left. And they will get back to within one score as he is into the end zone, and the lead's cut to eight here in the fourth. And hold the phone now. This game isn't over yet. Not at all. Now, get the football back. That's the first thing. However you do it, get the ball back and then manipulate the clock with your offense because you've got to get the ball into the end zone. So here we go. They'll need the recovery, obviously, then a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. The visitors' offense and Derrick Henry set to take over once more. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. They've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, Keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And a busy night for Henry continues. And he has the Ravens first down, and it would appear that that's going to be the one to do it.
The Ravens taking a knee with victory seemingly in hand here. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And they'll indeed take a knee. Down to a knee goes Jackson, and that should seal it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Kansas City.